Hello everyone, welcome to Zoho Contracts. In this video, I will guide you on how to negotiate a contract in Zoho Contracts. Let's get started. Before diving into the negotiation process in Zoho Contracts, it's crucial to understand the challenges associated with traditional methods of contract negotiation. Traditionally, contracts are sent as email attachments during negotiations. However, this method poses several challenges, such as enabling the track changes option, setting a password to prevent the counterparty from disabling track changes, and tracking changes across multiple negotiation rounds. Additionally, it results in losing control over the document once it leaves the organisation and requires counterparties to download, edit and share the document via email back and forth. Zoho Contracts streamlines the negotiation process, making it easier to manage and track negotiations while effectively addressing these issues. In Zoho Contracts, you can send a contract for negotiation once all the approvers have approved it. If there is no approval workflow associated, you can send it immediately after completing the draft. To send a contract for negotiation, click the Contracts tab at the top and select the contract in the approved state that you need to send for negotiation. Then click Send for negotiation at the top right corner. The counterparty's primary contact will be a negotiator by default. You can add more counterparty contacts as negotiators by clicking Add More at the bottom of the negotiator's list. Choose a negotiator from the list or add a new one by clicking Add New Contact and filling in the necessary details. Once you have selected a negotiator, set their permission and assign a password to access the document you need to share the password separately with the negotiators. The Edit and Submit Review permission is set to the counterparty's primary contact by default. For other negotiators, you can assign different permissions such as Edit or Comment Only or View Only. After adding negotiators, click Send. The negotiators will receive an email notification with a link to access the contract document. The Activity section displays the progress of the contract document during the negotiation stage, along with the respective timestamps. For this particular contract, the negotiator has received the email and viewed the contract, but has not yet submitted the negotiation review. Now, let's quickly switch tabs to show how this looks to the negotiator. The counterparty contacts added as negotiators will receive an email with the link to the contract document. Negotiators do not need a Zoho account to view, add comments or suggest edits to the document. They can access the contract by clicking the link in the email and entering the password. Negotiators can collaborate in real time to suggest edits to the contract document. The changes made by negotiators will be displayed as redlining to help the contract owner track them. Negotiators can add comments by selecting the text to which they want to add a comment and by clicking the Add Comment on the toolbar at the top of the document editor. They can enter the comment in the window that opens up on the right panel. Then set the comment visibility. If the negotiator sets visibility to everyone, the comments will be visible to the members of both the negotiator's organisation and the sender's organisation. If the negotiator sets the visibility to My Organization members, the comments will only be visible to members of the negotiator's organization. This allows the negotiators to have internal discussions among themselves. If the negotiator sets visibility to contract owner only, the comments will be visible to the contract owner only. By default, the comment visibility is My Organization members. After selecting the visibility, click Add to add the comment. Once the review is complete, the counterparty's primary contact can finish the review with or without checking the Proceed for Signing checkbox. Checking or unchecking the checkbox indicates the counterparty's consent to initiate the signing process. When the counterparty's primary contact submits the review, the contract owner immediately receives a review summary with all the details regarding the review cycle. 
you can view the changes as redlining and the comments in the comments panel on the right. If you prefer not to make any changes to the document, you can reply to the negotiator's comments. Or add new comments to clarify your stance. Then resend the contract for negotiation by clicking resend for negotiation. Or, if you want to manage the changes and comments, click Edit Document. This will switch the contract to draft state, allowing you to accept or reject changes and reply to or resolve or add comments. Once the contract is moved to the draft state, click on the changes made by the counterparty and select Accept or Reject the Changes. Click on the comment that you want to respond to and add your reply in the reply field. After addressing the comments, you can resolve them by clicking the resolve. If the contract is associated with an approval workflow, you must obtain approval from the designated approvers before proceeding to the next round of negotiation. After receiving approval from your approvers, click Send for Negotiation at the top of the Contract Details page. When there are multiple rounds of negotiation, the counterparty contacts can compare the changes between the document versions from the previous negotiation cycles. The counterparty can compare changes by clicking Compare Changes at the top. Then, they can choose a past review cycle they want to compare in the past review field. Counterparties can also view the negotiation history if the contract undergoes multiple negotiation cycles. To view the negotiation history, click More at the top right corner of the document editor and choose Negotiation History. Then, select the review cycle to view the document. Once the counterparty's review is completed, they can submit their review by clicking the Proceed for Signature checkbox. The contract owner will receive a review summary for each review cycle. They can view the previous cycles, the review summary for each cycle, and the document version sent for the respective cycle. To view the previous cycles, click View Previous Cycles located below the Activity section. The left panel will display the activity of all the previous negotiation cycles. Click on View Document next to that cycle to view the contract document version received for that respective cycle. Additionally, to see the counterparty's review summary for a particular cycle, click on View Summary, which is located below the negotiation activity of that cycle. Click Mark as Negotiated to complete the negotiation process. When the contract is marked as negotiated, any unaccepted or rejected changes made by the negotiators will be removed. Similarly, unresolved comments will be marked as resolved. After completing the negotiation, you can send the contract for signature. That brings us to the end of this demo. I hope this provided you with a clear understanding of how to negotiate a contract in Zoho Contracts. In case you have any questions for us, you can reach us at support at zohocontracts.com. Thank you for your time.